In this video, I will show you how to appear offline on Roblox. So let's jump straight into it. And of course, the first thing you're going to want to do is come across to roblox.com and make sure you're logged into your account. So once you've logged in, it's very, very easy to do. All you want to do is come to your settings. So if you go up to the top right hand corner, click the gear icon and click on settings. This is going to take you straight across to the settings page. From here, all you want to do is come to this menu on the left hand side and you want to click onto the one that says privacy which is going to bring up a new window that looks like this. So from here, what you want to do, there's a couple of things you want to change to appear offline. And that's this one here, which says who can message me. So if you just scroll down a bit and look under communication, this one that says who can message me, you want to make sure that's set to no one. And again, for who can chat with me, you want to make sure again, that's set to no one. And what you want to then do is just scroll down a bit. And then find this section here which says other settings. So from here, you want to look for who can join me in experiences. And you're going to see this one. And again, you want to click on the drop down box and set that to no one. After doing this, this does save automatically. You might have noticed the pop up coming down saying save successfully after each setting had been changed. But that is the only three ones you want to change. So once you change that, you will appear offline on Roblox. And of course, other people and your friends on your friends list will be able to see that you're offline. So I hope this video helped you out today and if it did I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video and make sure you do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks and tutorials for everything tech and digital related. With that being said I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.